Hi everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon and greetings for the day wherever you are watching from the different parts of the world. I welcome you all once again to Signature of Art, the place where you can add value to your life. I'm your Sneha Pranav and my extreme apologies has been quite long gap which I took in order to post my videos and I was just held up with some other work wherein I couldn't post the videos uh, back to back very consistently and in the upcoming sessions you can find the videos consistently uh, either on the weekly basis or either on the daily basis however we were doing earlier and uh, i hope uh, you all doing well i'm super excited to uh, welcome you all once again for this beautiful session of signature of earth the place where you can add value to your life okay i come up and uh, as a festive season i would like to discuss today on the topic which is okay any guesses what it might be yeah uh, probably your guess is correct yes i'm going to talk more about today navratri uh, the festival famously known for the hindu culture and it's celebrated everywhere worldwide okay let's without delay let's quickly start talking more about navratri yep <clears throat> Navratri, also known as Navra Navratri. So we usually uh, call it Navratri or al also we can call it as Navratri without that A in between. Okay, it's a Hindu festival that spans nine days, especially it's nine nights and ten days. Very precise, it is nine nights and ten days. Celebrated every year in the autumn, the festival is dedicated to the goddesses Durga, who is worshipped in our various forms of nine nights. Navratri symbolizes the triumph of good mm -hmm. over evil and is a time for prayers, fasting, then and the celebrations. It is one of the most significant festivals in Hindu culture, celebrated with great fear and excitement across India and in an ancient communities around the world. The festival of Navratri is divided into three sets of three days, each dedicated to a different aspect of Goddesses Durga. The first three days are devoted to Goddess Durga, who is worshipped for her strength and courage. The next three days are dedicated to the goddesses Lakshmi, who is representing wealth and prosperity. The final three days are reserved for the goodness. For the goodness? Any guesses? Okay. For the goddesses Saraswati, who is worshipped for her knowledge and wisdom. Each day is associated with a different color and devotees often dress in that color to honor the goddesses of the day. Okay. Uh, during the Navratri, many different devotees observe a strict fasting. Uh, uh, maybe um, they will eat once in a day. Certain people, they don't eat for the, all the nine days. Certain people, they just uh, do the fasting uh, like... Uh, they take only fruits some they take only milk or a liquid form of any any food so it's again depend on their health conditions that also matters a lot yep okay uh, so um, devotees observe strict fast uh, obtaining from eating meat they uh, they never touch the meat alcohol and certain vegetables um, like uh, onion and uh, garlic also is no that uh, they consider they are not supposed to eat during that time some people choose to fast to their entire nine days while other may fast only one as i told you earlier uh, only on certain days uh, like maybe in the beginning of the navratri and uh, and the, while uh, they are come at the end uh, the 10th day or the ninth day of navratri they do the fasting yes as I said, uh, uh, while others may fast only on certain days, fasting is believed to purify the body, mind, soul and being the devotee closer to the goddesses. Okay, In the addition of fasting, in addition to fasting, uh, what else they will do is devotees also engage in prayers in different forms, be it meditation and other spiritual practices to seek, to get to obtain blessings from the goddesses and to gain her 
favor one of the most profit one of the most uh, powerful or uh, we could say like popular popular traditions of navratri is performs performance of garba we call like uh, dandiya or uh, some dancers dandiya ras dance or some other dance forms of dance also in, in some part of uh, um, in some part of indian hindu culture they uh, they put some golus and all so golu is something like a uh, seven to seven steps of uh, dolls well, dolls will be arranged in seven steps so let us in the later part we can discuss more about it in beginning let us more concentrate about what is navratri and how it is and other stuff yep okay uh, so one of the mo- most popular tradition is like dandiya garba okay other also they will play but uh, as an example i told you yep okay these tradition folk dances involve circular formulations of dancers moving in rhythmic patterns while clapping and striking sticks together dandiya sticks together the dances are accomplished by lively music and singing creating a festive vibe and a joyful atmosphere dandiya ras is usually performed with sticks while garba is a more free form dance that emphasizes graceful movements and footworks it's so beautiful the way uh, they dance it you must watch it once if you get a time and opportunity to and probably i may try to incorporate or uh, to share it in upcoming videos if you are interested more kindly comment me below if you are interested to know more about uh, those kind of dance forms we can discuss more about it fine okay <clears throat> as i said uh, these dances are a central part of navratri celebrations bringing people together in a spirit of unity and joy um, another important aspects of navratri is the tradition of setting up golu as i said you earlier as i told you earlier golu golu displays uh, golu is also known as bommai golu in tamil it, especially in tamil nadu they celebrate it is called bommai golu it is a dis bommai golu spelled as b o m m a i s k o l bommai golu is a display of dolls and figures mythologies and traditional villages life and the thing of aesthetics people visit each other homes to view golu view the golu displays and offer prayers and blessings some they also get written gifts while when they are going it when you are going for their golus and all golu is believed to bring good luck and prosperity to the household things and for the house for the people and many families spend weeks months preparing their displays with great care and attention to the details some also follow some of the themes maybe like uh, they follow all the dolls should be in some particular co- color combinations or they also plan of something like as if the goddesses or in some themes or maybe in front in between of the slope whatever is something more creative and uh, uh, it's it's all about their imaginations how they want to present their kolu and the dolls they arrange it yes <clears throat> in addition to prayers fastings and cultural celebrations navratri is also a time for giving back to the community as i said uh, it is uh, written gifts might be or we can you can do that in different ways also many devotees participate in charitable activities such as feeding the poor donating to the temples and the orphanages and organizing cultural events for the benefits of the community uh, this spirit of generosity and uh, service is an important part of the festival reflecting the value of compassion and unity that are central to the hindu spirituality overall navratri is a rich great grand and vibrant festival that celebrates the divine feminine in all her forms of goddesses durga it's all time of reflection worship and celebrations uh, bringing together people from different parts of world people from all walks of life to honor the goddesses and seek her bringing together people from all walks of life to honor the goddess 
and seek our blessings uh, through prayers fasting dance and community services be it like social services so uh, a devotee is connect with the divine the heart divine with the, the divinity <coughs> sorry with the divine and uh, reaffirm their faith in the power of goodness and uh, and it, they feel very happy and the and that uh, satisfy self satisfaction i could say it is like uh, routhness it's like righteousness and also what i one thing i would like to quote here is that navaratri is not a, just a religious festival but a cultural celebration that unites people in who are people shared uh, across the world people in a shared sense of spirituality and tradition as such it holds a, uh, it holds a specific or i could say it's a special place in hearts of hindus everywhere and continues to inspire uh, and have some and uh, reverence in the minds of all the people all the devotees who, who celebrate it worldwide and i hope uh, this uh, video was so, so informative for you and in come upcoming videos i would like to prolong more actually i wish to prolong it more uh, in deep we can discuss more about uh, how the golo needs to be set it up and all i think uh, i thought it will be too much lengthy so i'm just splitting it into two parts so this will be the first part about the navratri and then the next upcoming videos you can see more about golo and how it will be celebrated in different parts of world or i could say uh, different parts of india at the, at, at in the first okay i think um, you all doing good day you all doing good and uh, stay safe be safe um, stay connected if anybody is not subscribed to my channel i humbly request you all to subscribe to my channel so that you can get the notification in order to get the notification you have to hit the bell icon and if you feel that uh, this and uh, this part is very informative you can i or uh, uh, or hi i'm really request you all to share this video to your friends and family and to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon stay safe be safe thank you so much for connecting and for your valuable time which is much appreciated have a great rest of your day bye bye